What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review slash overview of the Forest V2. Um, this is the newest design from Dylan Mallory and this is a production prototype um, that he got in and this is being loaned out through the Apex Passaround group. Um, so you guys probably know Dylan. He has a couple different designs with um, Civivi, CJRB, Artisan, and he has a couple of his own um, OEM design uh, you know, models. This being, I believe, the second. Um, so he had the Forest, and then this is the Forest V2. I did not get to check out the Forest. Um, it was, I just never got around to picking one up, but I saw a lot of positive things about it from different people. I know Kevin, Lefty DC, was a big fan of it. And I heard a lot of positive you know, thoughts, reviews, um, comments regarding it. So when I saw Dylan was coming out with the V2 version of it, um, I was super stoked to see that it got put in the Apex group for, um, you know, pass around. And I jumped on um, this version because there was less people in the blacked out um, group than there was in the, uh, the you know, full tie or uh, polished tie or um, plain tie group. because so I just wanted to check one out quicker. And I, I've really enjoyed having this knife in. Um, it's, you know, simple, but very elegant at the same time. Um, you know, good action, good build quality, pretty good materials. Um, we'll, you know, we'll talk about whether or not I recommend the knife or not in the price point at the end of the video, like I typically do. But um, these are still available, I believe, for uh, pre-order. I will leave a link to Dylan's site down below. Um, there are four different versions. So the version that I have right here is the PVD coated, um, all blacked out with some carbon fiber. That is not the one that they're going with or he's going with. Um, so he has, like I said, four different versions, two with the polished tie and two with the blacked out tie. Um, and then both those versions will have a blue, like fat blue camo uh, marbled carbon, um, as well as an orange. Um, and they will all be the same price. They'll go for $325. And I believe production is happening right now. Uh, the pre-order, I got this in probably 11, 12, 13 days ago, about two weeks ago. And I think the pre-order had just opened like a day or two before I um, posted my um, unboxing of it. So I believe the um, production, there has been enough orders to fund the production. And I think it has technically started. Um, Artisan is the maker of these. I think I said Beztech or... Um, I think I said best tech in my for or my uh, unboxing, um, but Dylan commented and said Artisan was the maker, which is cool, which makes sense. You know, he a lot of his designs are through Artisan and CGRB, uh, so I probably should have thought of that earlier when I was you know thinking about different um, OEMs and whatnot. But yeah, so those are the four different versions, and like I said, it'll be linked down below. So if you guys want to go check out, and you can see the renders. Uh, the actual photos are photos of this and the um, polished tie with um, carbon fiber. So you can't see the actual knife, but there are renders of the blue and the orange and the polished and the blue and the orange and the black. Um, same knife, just different inlays basically. But that'll be available in the description down below. Please go check that out. I also try to we'll leave a link to Dylan's um, Instagram page if I think about it when I'm doing my... Uh, you know, editing my video. So definitely go check that as well. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to technically get into uh, materials, even though we already have. Um, so basically, like I said, the same knife, just different um, inlays. So instead of this carbon fiber inlay, it'll have either orange or blue. Uh, it's basically camo carbon, the way I look at it, or like shred carbon fiber. But you have the Mallory logo right there on the pivot, which looks really nice. I love having the, the sterile blade with nothing on it. This has a sheep's foot style blade with a very generous forward finger choil there. Nice opening hole for um, deployment. Comes down to a nice thin edge. This is a flat grind with a pretty thin blade stock, so it's a nice slicey blade. Uh, it is an inset liner lock with blacked out liners. You do have a lefty um, reverse or uh, lefty compatible clip. The pot clip is a nice milled 
piece of titanium. Um, one thing about the clip, it functions very well and it works very well, but I don't love how long it is. Uh, that's just a personal preference for me. I, I've told you guys that before. Um, a lot of the times I love when pot clips are shorter, but you know, from an aesthetic standpoint and from a view standpoint, I think it looks very good on the knife, but I just don't love when it sticks so far down into my pocket or, you know, down my uh, pant leg, but it goes in in a pocket very well, has a nice spring to it. Um, the transitions between the titanium and the carbon fiber are practically seamless. Uh, Artisan killed it on that front. I don't think, I haven't handled a ton of Artisan knives before. Um, I've handled the uh, Aria, Arian, um, the Cerberus design knife. Um, I think I've handled like one or two others, but I've not, you know, I don't have a whole lot of experience handling stuff made by uh, artisan that is not their own product. I believe this might be the first one, uh, but I think they, they did a great job with the transitions on this uh, carbon fiber. Um, you know, fit and finish on this knife is very well done. Both sides has a great fit and finish and feel to it. Um, the blade seal, which I almost forgot about, is S90V. I don't know if it's exactly S90V on this model, but that's what the production models will be. Uh, which is pretty cool. You know, you don't see S90V all that frequently. I, it's kind of a, it's a very popular steel, but it's not used as much. Uh, and I actually just got a custom fixed blade in, which you guys might have seen my reel. Um, in S90V, I guess I can pop it out of here and show you guys. Um, so I got that in S90V. So this is my, um, technically I had this in first, um, and then this is in second, but I was really intrigued by S90V and its um, edge retention properties. So that's why I went with this for my custom fixed blade. So I think Dylan picked a very good steel uh, for this. It's kind of a, you know, a premium steel that a lot of people don't think about. Um, the blade length is 3.5 inches. So three and a half inches, definitely a bigger size knife in my opinion, you know, to me, um, overall length is 3.9 inches. It only weighs 3.5 ounces, which is really nice. Um, what video just, did I just do? Um, oh, it was one of my reviews I just did. I just filmed it this week. It, this week too, I should remember. Um, oh, what the hell was it? Not the nine. I forget which, which model it was. Um, but the blade length was 3.25 inches and the uh, weight of the knife was 3.25 ounces. And this is another, um, Nice, similar to that with having the blade length and the weight be the same um, number. I just think that's kind of cool when it ends up that way. I don't think makers or, you know, designers try to do it that way, but it's just kind of a, you know, a, a cool coincidence whenever it ends up being, you know, that uh, same number. But you have titanium pivot colors on both sides. Um, pot clip and the backspacer is also titanium. And it is manufactured in China, like I said, by Artisan. Um... And yeah, I think that's all for, for materials. So we're gonna move on next to action. The action on this knife is pretty snappy. Um, the detent, you guys can hear it snapping back into place. Now it's not, you know, the stiffest detent I've ever handled before, but it definitely does the job for me. Um, I will say right away, there is a little bit of blade play. Um, I didn't, you know, wanna mess with it too much. I did try to tighten it down, but I, it seemed like there's some, um, a thread locker in there so I didn't really want to mess with it and you know I ended up loosening it to just make it worse so I just left it how it was uh, but the action with having you know keep in mind it has a little bit of blade play the detent just fires out of there um, I definitely prefer the middle finger flick over the thumb flick um, just because for me it's easier with these you know longer skinnier holes to middle finger flick than it is to thumb flick but once you get used to the knife and you get used to how, you know, where to put your, you know, your thumb placement and stuff like that, <coughs> excuse me, you get used to it. Uh, and, you know, with my time with this knife, it definitely uh, allowed me to, you know, flick it a lot easier. I just kind of get right up into this corner right here and then it pops right out. Um, and then for the middle finger flick, just get it right down really anywhere on the hole. Um, you know, as long as you're not like up into the top corner. That's a little bit stiff, but you know, anywhere you're, you're just naturally going to land on the knife, you can just pop it right out, which is nice. Um, slow roll it, you can do it as well. And then for the closing deployment, um, it's very smooth, drops to your nail, and then just a few micro shakes home or drops to your nail, bang, one shake, and you're closed. Um, 
it's very smooth. I believe this is on uh, ceramic cage bearings. I'm not totally sure um, what Artisan uses, but very snappy detent, very satisfying to open and close. I heard a lot of good things about the original Forces action, um, so it's nice to see that uh, this one has pretty damn good action as well. I fidgeted with this quite a bit, um, you know, just around my desk and on the days that I carried it, but it's very, very satisfying. Um, but again, you have to keep in mind it does have a little bit of blade play, but not enough to really, you know, uh, make a big deal about it. And I did notice a blade play like right after I opened the knife and carried it for a little bit. So it's been with me the whole, or it's been, you know, um, inherent the whole time I've had the knife, but it hasn't, you know, gotten any worse or anything like that, which is nice. Um, the liner lock has a great cutout. I definitely enjoy the um, access you have there. You just kind of dig the, the corner of your thumb up into there, and then it just drops. Very smooth. Um, it's kind of in between, you know, it's really smooth and guillotine down to your nail. But then once you're, you know, I could, I can move the knife around and not have it close. So you kind of get best, of, you know, the best of both worlds with it being so, you know, free falling to your nail and then bang closed. Um, but, you know, all in all, fantastic action, um, you know, great detent, great middle finger flick. Uh, no complaints at all from me in the action department. So next up is Ergos. And with this being a bigger knife, you know, you have a 3.5 inch blade um, and it's a pretty simple design. You know, you have a little bit of an indentation here and it kind of makes the scale skinny. Then you have a nice, you know, point and then it skinnies off um, towards the rear end of the knife. But for the most part, it's a pretty simple design. You know, up top here, you have a pretty much other than a little bit of a hump here. It's pretty flat. Um, so without using the forward finger choil, I can still easily get all four fingers on the knife. Um, you know, it's very comfortable. Uh, there is no jimping on this knife at all. There's no jimping on the lock bar, um, no jimping on the, you know, spine of the blade, which I'm kind of, you know, I like jimping, but I could take it or leave it. Like I'm not going to complain for the most part if I don't have any jimping on the knife. Um, and this, I really, you know, I don't think you need it. You know, would it be okay if you had some up here for some extra grip? Sure. Like I'm not going to complain if there was any, but I don't think that you need it with this knife, which, you know, uh, my thumb really falls anywhere on the, you know, right above this hole right here. But then with this uh, forward finger choil, index finger falls in, middle finger falls in, and then I have a whole lot of room on the back here. And then this just gets really locked into place. Um, as good as this grip is, this is 10 times better. This just feels like this thing is not going to leave my grip at all. Um, and then you, my thumb can almost, you know, come to the top part of the blade out here or um, back here or in the middle, it gives me a lot of different, you know, variations and a lot of different, um, you know, usability with if I'm doing push cuts, if I'm, you know, cutting through something specific and I got to be careful with what I'm doing. Uh, this gives great control and I love, you know, choking back here if I have to kind of pierce into something or choking up here if I'm, you know, pushing through cardboard. Uh, you know, whatever whatever situation you're doing with this knife, it's going to work well. Very nice and thin and slicey blade. Uh, S90V is going to keep a great edge retention. So you, for any EDC task, it's going to, you know, handle it all very, very well. Uh, very comfortable in hand. The way the titanium is chamfered and the way the carbon fiber is, is done, it's very smooth. Uh, has a great, you know, finish and touch to it. No hot spots at all. The pot clip, um, you know, I complained about it being kind of long but that makes it nice because it kind of spreads out evenly over your palm and you don't have like, you know, choked back. I can barely even feel it and choked up. I can, you know, feel it even less. Um, it just sits so low to the scale, you know, you're not having any, you know, hot spots back there. Um, you know, no ramp that's going to jag back up into your, you know, palm of your hand. Uh, overall, very, very comfortable. Um, and, you know, again, no complaints at all with this with this knife um, from the ergonomic department. So, Dylan, you definitely know how to design a, you know, very ergonomically friendly knife, a very comfortable knife. Um, and I think I've handled a few other of his designs. I know I've handled the Hadros, and I think I've handled one other one. Um, and I remember the Hadros was very comfortable. Um, he, he likes to design, you know, skinny, sort of very thin knives. Um, and this is definitely... You know, keeping theme with that, but again, it's just so comfortable. You use that forward finger choil gets locked in there, uh, and you're ready to do some work. So again, no complaints at all from the Ergo department, uh, and that leads me to the next category of carry. And like I stated earlier in the video, um, this weighs 3.5 ounces, which is pretty lightweight for a knife that has a blade length of 
uh, 3.5 inches and almost an overall length of eight inches. Uh, carries very, very well. You also, like I said earlier, you have that lefty ability to switch the pot clip over. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do a filler tab or a filler plate for um, the lefty side of the, the knife. Uh, it would have been nice to toss in there, but I don't know if that's what they're doing. Um, I haven't heard anything or not, so it, but just it would be nice to clean it up a little bit and have a, that space be kind of tucked in and have a nice plate there. But carries very well. You know, I I, I like having deep carry pot clips, uh, and I, I'd say for a milled clip, this carries pretty damn you know deep. Sticks up about that much out of your pocket, which is just how it's going to go with having a kind of a pointy end of the knife right there. Um, but it's so lightweight, it carries in your pocket well. You have no Get some schmutz on there. You have no, you know, flipper tab or anything to catch your hand if you're going down for change, coins, uh, medicine, chapstick, whatever it might be. Uh, you have nothing to worry about um, when you, you know, if, if you go down in, you have nothing to catch your hand on to pop the knife out of there. Uh, like I said, it's all chamfered very nicely. There's no rough or sharp edges. Um, it's just, it's very lightweight, carries very well. And, you know, I, I said how the pot clip could be a little bit shorter, but it does function very, very well. Goes in and in a pocket very smoothly. Uh, some pot clips have, you know, are so stiff and they're, they're hard to, you know, get in and in a pocket. They're hard to pop over the lip of it, you know, your pocket or your jeans or whatever. But it's nice because longer clips do have, they, they let the tension ride a little bit more and kind of spreads it out and you don't have as much like stiffness to get it up over um, so i definitely can appreciate it for that but again no complaints with the carry um, other than maybe having a, a filler tab there and that could be something that dylan is planning on doing um, with the production model so i don't know for sure whether that is going to be like that or not for the um you know production but uh, that leads me to my final category of price point and what i recommend this knife so i can absolutely recommend this knife i think it's fantastic you're getting great materials you're getting just great action great fit and finish um, Artisan really killed it on the builds, you know, uh, great thumb flick, great middle finger flick, great closing action, very smooth, um, very fidget friendly, very addictive to play with. Um, but you're getting a great blade, nice Warncliffe style, or uh, excuse me, a sheep's foot style blade, S90V, so it's going to be very slicey, um, <clears throat> excuse me, very great for EDC tasks. Um, I like the tip, it just comes down to a nice pointy pronounced tip. Um, you know, pretty thin blade stock all in all, um, but very, very well done with the build quality. And again, you know, Artisan did kill it, I think. Uh, price on these are $325. I, I don't know. I'm a little conflicted on the price because I know with boutique brands and, you know, small makers that are, you know, OEMing their knives and selling them as their own brand, they're always going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, and that's just kind of what you come to expect with, with makers, you know, uh, Devo, um, Luff Concepts, uh, Dylan Mallory, for example, um, just, you know, some ones that come to mind, they're just going to be a little bit more expensive because you kind of have, it's, it's like a built in boutique brand tax, I like to call it. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing because obviously, you know, they need to make some money too, and that's how they get their brand off the ground. So, you know, I think 325 is, is okay. Um, I don't think you're getting a you know a value with the price. I think for these materials, maybe between two uh, two fifty and three hundred. Uh, but again, I'm not you know I'm not behind the scenes. I don't know how much it costs to make these knives. Um, so I do think three twenty five is okay. But again, you're not getting any sort of value. But again, you kind of have you know you're dealing with um, you know boutique brands, and that's just kind of how how they are nowadays. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to run out and buy one of these just because I just, I, you know, I like it enough to, you know, uh, tell people if they are interested in buying it to go check it out and to go buy it. But it just wasn't something that I, you know, I liked it, but I didn't love it, if that makes sense. Um, but that's the great thing about pass arm groups. I got to check out a really cool knife that I've been wanting to check out for a while, you know, from the forest now to the forest V2. Um, so I'm really glad I got to check it out and I, I'm glad I got to, you know, experience some of Dylan's um design traits and design languages and whatnot and that leads me to uh you know i'm wanting to check out some more of his stuff i think i said in the unboxing he does have a small centros which is made by cgrb it's like an 80 dollars knife on his site i really want to check that out so that might be another um, purchase i make in the near future um but yeah I, I definitely can recommend it um just not specifically something i'm going to run out and buy but again i really you know appreciate the apex group and i appreciate dylan for putting these knives into the apex, the apex group um, to allow us to check it out and allow us to um, you know 
um, give our reviews and uh, to gain some thoughts on it. But I think it's a great knife. If you know, if you love the design, uh, I think it's a fair price for it. You know, you're getting S90V titanium uh, shredded or marbled carbon inserts with uh, blue or orange. Um, you know, just a fantastic action, great build quality. So all those things that you're worried about going into the knife, there, you know, I can I can attest to them all. I can uh, recommend them all. Um, so all in all, great package, great knife. Um, great design. I really do like the design, but um, just not something I'm going to run out and pick up at the moment. So, um, but yeah, Dylan, thank you so much for putting this into the Apex Group. Thank you to the Apex Group um, and David for you know always providing cool stuff for us to check out. Links will be in the description down below to uh, Dylan's website and his Instagram page. So definitely go check these out. They are still up for pre-order. Um, so if you guys are just now seeing this video and you're wanting to go buy one, hurry on over and pick one up. Um, I don't think you'll write. Uh, I don't think you'll regret it. I was going to say, I don't think you'll recommend it. I don't think you'll uh, regret it all. It's a great knife. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Uh, this was my full review slash overview of the Dylan Mallory designed Forest V2. Beautiful knife. Um, I really did appreciate my time with it. Um, so definitely go check it out. Uh, as always, Blue Creek Knives and Barnscraft Designs will be in the link down below. Use code 814EC for 10% off of your purchase at Blue Creek Knives and 15% off of your purchase at Barnscraft Designs. Helps me, helps you, helps Brian, and helps Holden. It is a win, 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 like I like to say. Um, and yeah, yeah, leave a comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Do you have any of other Dylan's designs? Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, morning, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.